All right, we're recording. Let's sync up. One, two, three, four. Hey guys, Rudrick here, and welcome back to Rudrick Plays The Last Story. Last time we read a lot of things in the library, but I know some of you are going, what in the heck is Zale equipped with? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the maxed out dragon armor. Is this not just ridiculous? Look at this. Holy crap, this thing with the Zan Lance makes him look like the Harbinger Destruction. Now, Callista has his heavy armor plus nine, because I did manage to upgrade that off screen too. Didn't mean to, but that's a different story. But also in grinding, I just kept going to the haunted house, I'll show you. I just kept going in here, opening the gold chest without touching the carpet in the middle, and I would either get a dragon skin or a dragon fang. Funny enough, which by the way, I'm going to take, um, Zale's um, helmet off here. Let's remove the helmet. What is this? Now we need that. Where is the... Nope. Yeah, we could remove the shield, which I would almost rather, but ah, let's just leave it like that. And also put the side accessory back. I kind of like that. Not the bi biggest detail, but I would like to see his face. So... But I collected enough uh, dragon skins again to um, have the um, Dragon Master actually make us some more. So if you're curious, I'm going to show you guys what he says because he does say something different if you have beaten the game and you're in the epilogue and you have him make stuff. Ah, you have, you have gathered all then, as Please show now. me. I see. Let's view this scene one last time. Thanks to your efforts, the land has been granted new life. Perhaps the day will come when even the long-dead dragons will return. Excellent work, Zale. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he actually says something different. I didn't know that. I've, Which, I mean, then again, like I said, I never really messed with dragon armor when I first played through this game. What do you have to say? There's a weird old man down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've talked to you already. We, I don't care what you have to say. So, but anyway, on our agenda today is actually to fight the last fight in the arena. Now, there is one thing I said I was going to show. Anyway, I thought it was funny that a certain Metal Blade 427 said that I should color this red when I actually don't have red dye. Um, and also, it kind of looks more like Dart's uh, Lesson of Dragoon form and Divine Dragon uh, form. So, honestly, I think that's what we've got here. Let's go into battle, though, and see what we got in the arena now. Hey, Zale. What's up, guys? Have you heard? Have I heard what? Yeah, everyone's talking about it. What are they talking about? What's this now? Well, you know how they opened up the arena to go rack challenges recently? Yeah. That was when it started. Hmm. This guy showed up who just kept going on about how he wanted to fight with you. Really? To start with, nobody paid him much attention. Just some guy who was bitter because of the war they figured. Yeah, probably. But he just kept going on and on. And it doesn't really seem to be about the war either. This guy has it in for you in particular. I wonder why. Lately, he's been showing up every single night causing a proper commotion. So, what do you say? Worth checking out? I think so. Um, all right. I mean, we've got maxed out dragon armor and the most powerful That's weapon in the I game. Let's go give this guy a beating. Oh yeah, let's do it. Ready? 
ready. Go. And they're off! Our challenges today are Team Zale, the saviors of Lazarus Island. And our guest commentator is Mr. Belgan, all the way from the Garak continent. Hmm. So, Belgan, about today's match. <laughs> Lover. Yes, I'm looking forward to the match too. Okay, he sounds very excited. Let's go in here first. Oh wait, no, I've got to go forward before I can go anywhere else, I believe. I think so. All right, let's continue on through here. I told you guys the Zan Lance matches this uh, get up. I just like being able to see Zell's face, so I took the helmet off. these guys again we don't need another travesty they don't seem to be fooling around this time though oh. and there's no reason for us to hold back either nope and it looks like we're gonna have to uh, actually fight the Lazarus Knights this time ah they got a damage shield you cheap sons of guns well they're gonna have a tough time with all this going on Huh. Crap, they took one of us they took us out. Slow down. Oh you get out of my way. Crap. Oh, I've gone down. That's bad. Honestly, I could take all of them out on my own if I wanted to, but I would rather have Seren Seren and Lowell here. Yeah, I need these two back up. Alright. Power strike. Power chain. And lol, start hitting them from afar with Blizzard. I need this. I need this. Can you take out that guy? Ah. I hate the damage circle. I absolutely hate the damage circle. You out. Oh! I got dragon armor, guys. You're not gonna touch me. Ow. Get up, Saren. Oh, you too. Where'd you go? You're already up. Okay, good. Heh, <laughs> good shot, Saren. Alright, Lowell gotta level up. Not the best way to start off the match, but those damage circles just suck. Eh, I don't know. But there's ever Team Zayla the victors. What a battle. Simply marvelous. Got any more dialogue for us? Heh. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. This has been one heated match right from the word go. <laughs> yes, of course. We're all looking forward to the next battle. Uh-huh. Does Vogan have anything else interesting to say? Probably not. Let's go in here then. I wonder if Velgan's the guy that really wants to have it out for me. We'll find out. Two of those huge things. What pain. Yep. Ooh, we got stone circles too. Freeze and flare. Ooh. Well, only one thing to do. Uh, I hope not. You're all going down. All of you are going down. Boom, baby. This is the power of the freaking dragon armor, and I cannot even unleash the full power of it yet. Hey, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of the way. No, I just did. Ow. Well, it goes a little something like this. Okay, he's up. Now it's gonna get Seren up. Out of the way. Let me get Saren. Uh. 
that up. Ooh, I got a gnome gold. Hey, none of that. Boom. Ooh, I got a graph blade. Another win there, blazing through bout after bout. Probably. As they should be. That wasn't too tough. It's just a little hard because I've got Callista and or Callista, Seren and Lowell. I don't have everyone else. So, but I'm still running through these guys without too much of a problem. It's just they gang up on me, which is cheap. I knew if I waited here, I'd eventually run into Yzael. <laughs> what? Joker. No idea. Zael, you nope. can't have forgotten me. Hey. Have we met before? You can't forget ah! me. <laughs> Not when my revenge is at hand. Come forth. <laughs> Holy crap. Sure about that? Oh, when we were on the ship. What? He's a mate of yours then? Not exactly. No. Uh, you know, Belgian, I do want uh yeah, this is a Terracor. We have to fight one of these stupid things. Ow! Man. Ow! Stupid Terracor. I don't know, but I'm gonna need to heal. You are gonna stop your crap right now. I'm gonna need to take out the other mage too. Hey, quit. Uh -uh. See, 3,000 damage, that's a ton. All right, I need to... Ooh, Seren got knocked out. Ow, that had to hurt. Hey, uh-uh. No. Ow. All right, come here. Power strike. Power chain. Actually, you know what? Shadow stitch it. Hit it with the glacier, lol. Go, Seren. Teach that Terracor a lesson. Maybe I'll paralyze him, too. Ow. Get him, lol. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, what's going on up there? Come on. Down you go. All right, we did it. Belgen? Are you all right? Belgen. Uh, it looks like we're out of time, so that's it for today, folks. Somebody call a doctor. Yeah, seriously. Ah, oh, some good brawling today. Anyone up for a quick pint at the tavern? Oh. That sounds well good. To the pub. Curse you all. Don't think this is the end of me. But wait. What, what could the? this be? Something spinning around. What? What is that? A rook. But it's bloody massive. Yeah. <laughs> you blaggers made quite the fool of me, but no longer. I'll carry on the great Zangarax work, build the Garak nation into a mighty empire, and I, of course, will be. Well, what now? We have to defeat it, otherwise it will rampage through town. Right. Yeah, and that's not good. Let's stop it here. We're here to help too. Okay, good. I got more party members. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna need it. I've never fought this Gigamaruk before. This thing is probably gonna hurt. Alright. This is the true power of the dragon armor. 
with deflector on, I take almost no damage. I know. It's got a guard up, so I'm gonna need to hit all of this. Come on. Come on. We're doing damage to it, which is good. This is a little hectic because I can't really see it and he can't really see me. I'm recovering very nicely though and he is not doing damage to me. All right, I need to accelerate badly. Power chain, blizzard. You know, throw an ancient barrier up while we're at it and hit it with a meteor. Uh, Marania, you just keep casting recover because I might need that. Accelerate! With an ancient barrier, this thing ought to go down in a heartbeat. But I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit both of these. Crap, plus went down. Alright, I kinda need Callista back. Or I can just finish this thing off without her, we'll find out. Boom! You're going down, Gigamora. You're going down. See, you didn't stand a chance against me with all my augments. With the dragon armor, this was a piece of cake. Yes, we did. Well, thank you. I've only cleared that once. Now that's what I call a fight. It was. Holy crap. Yeah, not a bad day at all. Nope. I never knew it was even possible for a Maruk to grow that big. Yeah, that was a massive one. I mean, yeah, the bigger it is, the harder it fell. And it sure fell like a sack of potatoes, the but anyway. Come, the fall and all that. I just said that, Sarin. Thank you. Guy Love with you. The eye patch seemed pleased to see you, Zale. Friend of yours? No, him. not exactly. Yes. We met him quite a while ago, back when we hijacked that Garat ship. <laughs> yep, and his luck hasn't it changed was, uh, a bit. Hmm, an interesting experience. Then it was. He sure knew how to run his mouth off, even if that's all he could do. Well, you know, if you got the crap beat out of you by two Maruks and a Terracor, you probably wouldn't be able to do Seriously, too much either. What did you do to make them hate you that much, Sam? <laughs> I'm sure you've earned yourself plenty of grudges too, mostly from women. Uh, probably. I know Don't that feeling. Anyway. Stop with the crazy talk. Oh no. That kind of stuff, I swear, some people. <laughs> I just remembered something really important I gotta do. See you later. Hold it. Really? Here, Zay will take your winnings. See ya. Lowell, get back here. Oh, they're getting along great, I see. Please to never change. Nope, and I'm not mad about that at all. Two thousand gold. Take the almond. The coconut. Ooh, wine! Yeah! Sweet, I finally got wine. And you know what? I'm gonna change out of this dragon armor because it's just ridiculously stupid looking. Let's see here. Let's just go to my knight's attire. Not that I really need anything. What? Oh, you two. Calm down over there. I mean, not that I really need the knight's armor for anything, but eh, you know. Anyway... I'm going to make a quick trip over to the market. All right, and for finally completing this, we get four gnome golds, which is not as many as I would like to get, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna make one last trip to Horace's shop. All right, joining me over at the tavern and Horace's shop's right over here. I want to make some last minute upgrades. They're not really that important, and I honestly don't even need to do them. But I want to show them off just for the sake of it. 
Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade Seren's Hunter Armor to level 9. And... Let's see. Ooh, I got 5 Gnome Gold. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and upgrade... The other Heavy Greaves up to level 8 if I can. Let's get these and upgrade to 8. And I've only got one left, so I'm going to upgrade one of the weapons. Let's go with the East Wing. Why not? And it's really all I have left to... Oh, wait, I got that Grack Blade. Hold on. I almost forgot. I have a Grack Blade now, so I can show you what the tomes do. I totally forgot. Also, I got another uh, Sylph Bowstring while I was running around, so this is level 5 now. Let's see. Where is the Grack Blade? Aha! Crack Stardust. Need the... And you need a... Um, holy crap, that's actually good. This heavy sword is the pinnacle of Grack technology. Deals double damage to Grack and vertical slice damage. You needed a... Uh, you needed a, uh, just one Garak Tome to upgrade that. What does that even look like? Well, whatever. I, I guess I'll give it to Lowell, whatever. I mean, his magic attack goes down, like, a little bit, but whatever. I mean, it's really powerful for him now. And, well, I've got it. So this is a relatively short episode, um, but really all I wanted to show off was uh, the final arena battle. And it's really cool you know, and stuff like that, but that wasn't near as hard as I thought it was. I probably could have beaten that without the dragon armor, but let's just face it. This stuff is just ridiculous. Like, I mean, look at it. I'll even show you the stats of it. S like, even nothing compares to this, even in stats. Like, and then when you have the added effect of when barrier is active, damage is reduced by 90%. And then the Greaves have a 100% chance of producing knockback. If you notice, I didn't knock back, get knocked down at all wearing this. So this is why I didn't use it for the majority of the game. I mean, if I were to use this against Zangarak and had it maxed out, which I couldn't have had it maxed out. I would have had it close, but not quite maxed out. Maybe for new... Maybe if I do a little bit of off-screen stuff in New Game Plus, I, and if I get back to Zangarak, um, maybe I'll show off how powerful the Dragon Armor and stuff is, even against a foe like him, seeing as that's the one I had the most trouble with. But look at this. This is just ridiculous. And you guys saw what it looked like when I had the Zanlance running around. You know, those two together are just re retarded powerful. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, why am I still in that? I, I need him in heavy armor. Um, but that's going to do it for now. Um, I'm going to leave things here. And next episode, we'll proceed to the end of the game. What's going to happen, I wonder? Oh, Callista. What? <laughs> she looks really silly in that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I will... I will revert her to, you know, the regular, where's the other heavy armor? Actually, you know what? I'm going to put her in her dress. And I'm going to put Zale in his knight armor. That, that That's that's what I'm going to do. Just have these two running around, looking all lordly-like. Anyway, next time, we're going to end the game. I am not sure how long it's going to be, so I'm going to save it for its own episode. And we'll be done with the last story. You guys excited? I am, but I'm also a little sad. Join me next time when Rudrick plays the last story. Rudrick out. Look, we just left everything to Dagran without giving a hoot about what was on his mind. I wonder how well we really knew him if that was bubbling beneath the surface. But it's his fault too. He's the one who kept it all inside. Don't forget that, Zale. Do you think Dagrin really thought of us as... as just pawns for his revenge?